Hey everybody, Jochen here, and today I am going to show you how to use custom commands in Discord with Dinobot. I'll be covering some quick concepts on how to set up a read-only suggestions channel, and then cover how to set up a custom command which will send all the suggestions into that channel. Following that, I'll expand on some more custom commands by creating a report command, where members in your Discord server can report offenders. And remember, you can see these commands in my Discord server, so please come join by following the link in the description below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button down below if the video helped you in any way. It supports me tremendously. But without further ado, let's get into the suggestions command. Just to show you here quickly, from anywhere in the server, if I type in question mark suggest and then my suggestion that pops it into the suggestions channel over here and you can see that Jochen suggested and my suggestion so that is just a quick example now because I'm an admin I can delete that but going to the edit channel in the permissions is I have locked down everything so everyone can't do anything in this channel and then every single role that I have, I said they can read the messages, they can read the message history, and they can add reactions. So this is the way that you set up an entirely read-only channel. One thing to note, however, is on the henchman, which is all my bots, that is the only one that can still do something, that can still post and send messages and all that kind of stuff you do want the Dinobot to be able to write into this channel. Everybody else is locked down. Now with the channel set up, let me show you how to do that suggest command. It is very straightforward. So I logged into the Dinobot web dashboard, went down to custom commands, added the command name of suggest or whatever you would like to say. Now here's the first tricky little bit. So the hash says that it's a channel. You can see that down here. Curly bracket hash channel shows you that it is a channel link. So all this says is respond into the suggestions channel and create the following content. So we've got the user who created the command and then just normal text suggested and whatever he suggested. You'll see this parameter one plus that you can see over here. So parameter one, two or three means however you specified the command. If I went question mark suggest and the suggestion, the and would be parameter one, the would be parameter two, and suggestion would be parameter three. Now because I said parameter one plus, it'll take one plus everything behind it. So essentially it just means that whatever they typed after the command name, I want all of that information to go into the suggestions box. And that is it. That is the end of the suggestion. Quickly set up the channel as read only and create this command. So you can see over here, I've already created this command. Now, just a little bit more on the fly, let us create a custom report command. So I'm gonna go, let's report. Now, where do we wanna change this to? We wanna re respond into the, let's make it the logs channel. First things first, I am going to delete the command, which means when somebody types in the report, command in the general channel, as soon as they reported it, that command will actually disappear in the general channel. So nobody will know that they've been reported. I want to respond into the logs channel and I want to say, uh, let's go, let's call out a, a group name. So for the dragon slayers, dragon slayers, A report has been submitted. Submitted. Now you can see this at and dragon slayers down over here. We've got the and role. That will now ping the dragon slayers role. 
now we just need to fill out the content. So let's go at this time, uh, make it bold, standard markup. So at this time, and we say this is this particular date, and this time in 12 hour format, why not? So that'll give you the AM and the PM. Then we go channel, uh, double, 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 oops, double, double. And I'm just specifying that put whatever the channel is where the person created this command from into the channel over here. So if I created it from the general channel, the general channel name will be popping up over there. The reporter. Now the reporter is the user who executed the command. So if I executed this, the question mark report command, my name or my username will actually be entered into there. Uh, what else is there? Let's go uh, the offender. So somebody did something. And I reported the parameter one. Now I'll, I'll get back to that. So what I want to do over here is I want to go and say report. Let's go Stealthy Raptor, which is my test account. I'm going to report Stealthy Raptor for not attending breakfast because that is just wrong. Okay, now I'm not going to press enter just yet. I'll press enter as soon as this command is done. So the offender is parameter one. And then the reason or the offense probably is a better offense. And for this, I want to take parameter two and everything behind that. So again, if you look at this, stealthy raptor will be parameter one, and then this will be parameter two plus everything behind it. So we've got our command. We've got, we're going to delete the command after we use it. We're going to respond into the logs channel over here. Uh, down at the bottom over here is the logs channel. We're going to specify the time, the channel name, the username, who was offending, what was the offense. One thing to note is that you have to, you can't have these things, these commands in inline like this. And you also, if I get here, this is a full blown enter. That's what you want to do. You don't want to do a shift enter. I don't know why, but sometimes I've encountered problems with the shift enter. So please just do a full blown enter while you're creating the commands. Make sure that every single command is on its own line. And once you get to the actual content over here, you can have it next to each other or whatnot. It, it, it doesn't really matter. But when you when you're talking about a full command that needs to happen, that needs to be on its own line. OK, so now we're just going to click on add. So we've got the report command. We're going to add that. Checking in the commands, we can see the report command has got the delete, respond logs, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry that it's put it in line over here. It always does. Um, and then if we get back, we've got the report command over there. And now we should see something pop up in the logs as soon as I press enter over here. So you'll see it created it, it removed it, and then it popped it into the logs. If we go down to the bottom of the logs, a report has been submitted at this time and date in the suggestions channel from Yoken. The offender was Stealthy Raptor, and the offense is for not attending breakfast. As easy as that. You have done your custom commands. You have specified where it needs to go to with the respond to the target channel name. You've called out any roles that you need to call out. And you've used a lot of these variables, which you can see 
just at the bottom of the variables command. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Again, please click the subscribe button. Come join the channel in Discord. Say hi. Discover a lot of new things. Join the community. Press the like button down below. Thank you for watching. Yoking out.